we are peculiar people. We're not standoffish. We're not rude. We're not dismissive. But we are peculiar. There is something strange about those who follow the Lord Jesus Christ completely. Sold out to him completely. It should be a conversational starter. Someone should come up to you and say, there's something different about you. We're peculiar. I shouldn't twerk harder than the women in the clubs. I shouldn't come in just as late at work as anyone else. We're peculiar. We're not rude. We're not dismissive. We're not standoffish. But we are peculiar. You do not have to look like the world to win the world. We are peculiar. We're not rude. We're not standoffish. We're not dismissive. You shouldn't have to come to me to hear the latest gossip. We're peculiar. We're not rude. We're not dismissive. We're not standoffish. I shouldn't raise more hell in meetings than anyone else. I'm peculiar. Someone should come up to you and say something different about you because we're peculiar. I don't have to not ever listen to gospel music because it's dated and out of touch and not trending. We're peculiar. Yes, I should enjoy going to Bible study. We're not rude. We're not standoffish. We're not dismissive. We're peculiar. I should not have road rage, cutting people off, flipping the bird, getting mad. We are peculiar. We look different. We are a royal priesthood. We are peculiar. I should not have the worst attitude on the team where no one wants to work with me. We are peculiar. We're not rude. We're not dismissive. We're not standoffish. We are peculiar. Because we're peculiar, come on now, when someone walk up and they see me and someone else standing side by side, they should automatically feel like they can come to me to ask me about the Lord Jesus Christ. Or can you pray for me? Or I have this going on in my life and I don't know what to do. Because I'm peculiar, you're going to come to me first. Come on now. If I'm standing next to someone else and both of us twerking, <laughs> both of us cussing each other out, both of us getting sloppy drunk, and someone walk up in the party or in the club, devastated, needed some, needing someone to talk to, needing someone to pray, do you think they will come to either one of us? No. There should be something about me that when I come in the room, woo, I'm head to shoulders above everyone in the room, not because we're rude, not because I'm standoffish, not because I'm dismissive, but because I am peculiar. If the mama is flirting hard with every one of her daughter's boyfriends in the neighborhood, you're not going to be known as the peculiar woman of God. You're going to be known as the hoochie mama. Literally, if dad and Matt want to still prove that he got it going on and flirt with all his daughter's friends and try to have them a side piece uh, 20 years his senior, you're not going to look like the man of God. You're not going to look peculiar. You're really going to look old and disgusting. <laughs> We're peculiar. You should not want to resemble the world. Now, here is where it gets good. No, I don't want to look like the world to win the world. But when the world comes into the church, when the world comes and see me, they can identify with my brokenness what I've been through. So everyone in the church, when it comes to your brokenness and your testimony, someone entering into the house of God should be able to identify with it. If you was a prostitute and God delivered you, now you're praising God and you look peculiar to another prostitute, like how did she do it? You're not rude, you're not standoffish, you're not dismissive, you're peculiar. 
But when she comes in, she doesn't feel like I'm on an island because she can identify with your brokenness. Your deliverance is will be the, the point that will draw her in. So I'm going to cry out about this probably for the rest of the year until God release me. Leaders, leaders, be warned. Stop trying to make your church look like Magic City. Ooh! Or the pool hall. Be peculiar. Be peculiar. Be peculiar. 